Hello everybody, my name is Zol, and today my video is going to be on getting the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic videos to be viewable in an editing program like Sony Vegas, or turning them into an MP3 so you can view them on their own. Now, a lot of you may be wondering why you would want to do that. Well, because Fraps or DxTory or any other sort of recording program will not be able to pick up the videos in Knights of the Public, which makes a Let's Play or a tutorial or any sort of kind of video recording, it makes it unfeasible. And today I'm going to help you uh, figure that out. So, let's get started. Now, the reason that the videos are not being picked up by any of your recording software is because they're pre-rendered videos that stream from your hard drive, so they essentially exist in another level above the game. Uh, no recording software that I know of that's going to be used by most LPers or tutorial makers is going to have this. Uh, however, there is a solution. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to navigate over to your Steam folder, that is C users, Steam, Steam apps, common for most people. I'll put the thing up here. Uh, you may have seen this in my other video. I have mine on my D drive, so I'm there. Once here, you go into this folder called Movies, and it's gonna have all these .bic files. Now, if you don't see the .bic, you're in the right place, just as long as it's this SW KOTOR Movies. Now, you'll see all these. If I click on them, nothing happens, unfortunately. I can't play them, but these are the game's cutscenes. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to convert these into an MP4, and then you can edit that into any other video with Sony Vegas or Windows Movie Maker, whatever it is you use. So to do this, we're going to need some software. To do that, navigate over to a free little video converter that I found called, uh, well, freemake.com free video converter. It's free, it's easy, it works quickly, it does exactly what you can. I couldn't find any adware there, although I honestly only looked for about an hour into doing some research into this video. So you're going to go along and you're going to hit download. It'll take a little while to download this. Fortunately, I have already downloaded this to save time for the video. So. Once it's downloaded on your computer, get the .exe, double-click, run. Choose your native language. I'm assuming it's English, since you're watching me speak in English. Uh, you can leave this checked or uncheck it. It's up to you. Go to Custom Installation. Get rid of these toolbars. Custom Installation. Get rid of this tune-up utility. Custom Installation. I'm going to uninstall the browser plugin because I don't really want them. I'm going to create a desktop icon, but uh, I believe these browser plugins actually affect YouTube downloading of videos and such, so they might be good to keep. Next, I'm going to change the destination that I save this to because I like to save everything to my D drive. So I'm going to put it there, click next, and it's going to install. So the program doesn't take that long to install. Once the utility is done installing, all you need to do is launch it, so click Finish. The program is then going to launch automatically. Uh, it's going to actually open up a page on your internet asking you to donate and like them on Twitter and such. That's going on on my other monitor over there so it doesn't interfere with the video, but just be aware that that happens. That's not any adware. Now, first thing you're going to do is you're going to click Plus Video. I have it open here. Basically what you want to do is you want to paste in the destination that you found earlier up here in this uh, Steam folder and you'll get the .bix. Now I know for a fact that one of these is the intro text. I think it's this one, but I can't be sure. The one problem with this is you don't, since they're, they're labeled this way, you're going to actually have to go through them and look at the videos. And I'm going to show you a utility that lets you look at them before you do that, but if you click open, take a few seconds and you can actually push play here and see what it is you're converting so this is the rolling titles from the beginning so if you wanted to put this into your video here we go see you want to put this in your video you click to avi 
I have it on HD, it doesn't matter. These are very low qualities because this is an old game, so it doesn't really matter. I just like to leave it at HD since I'm already rendering in HD and with my system and editing setup, it tends to like awkwardly put borders in there and all sorts of stuff. So I put it like this, but the video isn't gonna matter. Now, uh, let's put it here in the folder and I will put it to our desktop. So just desktop, maybe I want, I'm gonna actually rename this to intro underscore scroll dot avi click save and convert this will only take a few moments you don't need to shut your pc after it's completed because these are very very short files and we're done so it'll tell you the conversion is completed you can close this down and if you click here I now have the video, and I can actually just take this MP4, drop it into my video editing lineup in Windows Movie Maker or whatever, and insert it exactly where it normally would be during the video. So you'll have to edit it in, but you can have your videos there. So thank you very much, everybody. I hope you have the best of luck with your video editing and making, and, uh... Thanks for watching. Have a great day.